And this is why I say the path is dangerous, brothers. Like, this is why I say the path is dangerous, man. Like, you have to understand. I'm, gonna say, I'm trying to say how to break this down, but you have to understand, man. Like, like once you make that step on this bridge, you, you have to understand that like those first couple of steps, man, like you're still gonna have access. You're still gonna have access to your old world, man. You know, like that, that hypnotic rhythm is gonna be kicking in where, where that world is gonna be dying. But when you first step on that bridge, you say, you know what, like this is this is my new I am. You're still you're still gonna have you you're still gonna have the ability that Lot had. You're still gonna have the ability to turn around and look at your old women, the old the old brothers you used to hang with. It's still gonna be accessible, man. And I'm telling you, brothers, that that's a very dangerous spot, man. But what I did, man, is I kept walking down this bridge, man. I, I kept walking down this path, brother, and I could just feel my past going away. I, I had all kinds of opportunity. I was a new person, man. I was a new person. And it, it got to a point where, kind of like that picture I put on that, on that thumbnail, it got to a point, man, where I got so far, where it was like one more step. It was like one more step down this road, brothers, and the world behind me will no longer even exist. And it's like, it's like when I got to that point, it's almost like, man, I could, I could hear my old world screaming for me. And, and when I say that, what I really mean is like, like the women or the one, the woman that was in my life had, had kind of just reappeared, was kind of still making a little noise in the background. A, a couple of the partners that I still hung with were kind of still making, you know, a little noise in the background. Like I'm still living this new world, but it wasn't completely closed up, brothers. And I'm gonna tell you what I did, man. My dumb ass, my dumb ass turned around and, and try and, and the only way I can explain it, man, is like I turned around and tried to bring pieces of my old world to my to, to the bridge with me. And brother, when I say my world fell apart in one day, this is nothing to play with, brothers. It's, it's not a game, man. So it's like it's like what I'm saying is if you're not really about this life, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Like, like stay, stay in your old world. Like, don't play with it. Because once you start walking down this, walking down this, this bridge, once you start going to this, this higher version of yourself, man, at some point, that old world is going to be dead. It's going to be dead, man. Like, like think about, think about what, what Lot would have seen if he would have chose to turn around and say, hey, babe, what, what's going on? Like, 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 come on. He would have turned around and saw, saw his old world burning. What he thought was still standing behind him had had what's a brim and fire, you know, whatever the brim and firestone, whatever it's called, coming out to the city. People were dying. You have to understand, man, that that old world that you live in, brother, it, it is not going to exist, man. We have to get to a point where everything or everyone in our life is eligible to be cut off, brothers. And, and I really, really mean that, man. That's why I say a lot of people not built for this stuff. Like only a small amount of people are built for this. We have to get to the point, man, where everything and every person, everything that exists is on the chopping block. Like nobody is immune to it. That's what being on the bridge is about. Because you gotta understand, you gotta understand this. If, if, if failure on the, if you fail on the bridge, you have to understand that going back to the old world is, is, is not a thing. It's not a thing. If you create a rhythm for so long, then that old world doesn't exist. That's the power we have. Like to be honest, for some of us, like like a lot of our a lot of our immediate family members are going to be subject have to be cut off, man. And, and if you can't do that, I'm telling you, brothers, don't go down this road. Don't go. I'm t I, I'm begging you, don't go down this road, man. If there's anything, any person, any place. Any, any any vice on this planet, brother, that can keep you from walking the path, don't go down the path at all. You, save yourself. Don't go down the path at all, man. Even even when Jesus was, I, I'm not sure if he was talking about when he was amongst the multitude, when they were like, hey, Jesus, they're, they're your people up there on the hill. They're your moms, they're your, they're your brother, they're, they're kinfolk and them. Jesus was like, nope. Nope, nope, they're not my people. My people are those that move like me. Like, like we've read that our whole lives, we just, Brother, think about think about having to be in that position where saying, "Hey, you know what? Like, like that's my mom, that's my dad, that's my brother, sister, uncle, cousin." Like, like this new version to be like, like, like maybe I can get I can get with y'all in a few weeks or a few months or in a few years. Like once I get to my full awakening, but right now I can't entertain you. 
I can't entertain you, brother. You you have to be you have to be in that energy, brothers. But it's gonna it's gonna take you losing something to understand how important this stuff we're talking about is, man. Like this stuff we're talking about, as far as like, man, these laws and how they advance. This stuff is concrete. It's concrete, like like uh, like like brother uh, with the Wallace Waddle said. You know, there, there's a science to this. That's the beauty of it. it's a science to it. That means it don't care. It don't matter if us brothers are black white asian from the uk we from france it don't matter where we're from this is a science regardless of who you are if you do x y and z this is going to take place but what nobody talks about or nobody talks about the consequences of, of, of bullshitting once you get on the bridge you can't bs on the bridge brothers i'm telling you man i'm gonna tell you this well, i'm gonna tell you why bro like the worst feeling i've ever felt in my life and i've only felt it Two times in life, I believe, maybe three, two times in life is is, is being is, is asking for knowledge, being exposed to a certain knowledge, walking that path and then choosing to turn your back and do something else like like that separation from God is pure hell. I would much rather burn in a fiery pit than than, than experience that, man. There, there is no feeling. There's no feeling worse than having been granted something some you know access to some some information and, and pretty much throwing the middle finger to the all saying you know what like i understand it i appreciate it but i'm still going to you know after you after you've exposed me to it now i'm going to choose a lower a lower vibration man so this is a very uh serious subject you're talking about and i want to tell the brothers it is because i don't walked over that bridge so many times when you fall over that bridge, you're not falling in the water, you're falling in the fires like going in the hell. Yeah. Because I'm gonna tell you, when you walk across that bridge, be very careful about thinking about what you want because you asked for it. Whatever you put out there, you say, I want this, I want this, I asked for it. Why am I saying that? Because what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna tell you this.